But this is basically in as quick amount of time as we can, we're going to run through how to double check uh, carboplatin dosing if you're the nurse on the floor or in the clinic and you have somebody that you want to double check what the actual dose is, how do we make our way through this equation because this is different than how we dose almost all of our other chemotherapies. And so real quick, we'll talk about that. So we're used to, oh, this is good. So by and large, most of our chemotherapies that we are dosing are based off of your body surface area. However, for carboplatin, it has been noticed that the toxicities correlate much better to the actual area under the curve than it does to the body surface area. And so for that reason, uh, we take a slightly different approach to dosing our carboplatin. And not to get too much in the weeds on the kinetics, we're using what's called the Calvert equation to try to estimate as best we can how much drug exposure is actually happening in that patient based off of their kidney function, because that's what ultimately really determines how much drug they're exposed to and how much toxicity they'll experience from the drug itself. Okay, so right off the bat, the equation is your total final dose is going to equal where the area under, area under the curve that's been desired by the physician uh, multiplied by your GFR plus 25. So area under the curve, <clears throat> typically that's gonna come out, the physician's gonna say, I want uh, an AUC of four, AUC of six. What we've noticed in practice is that AUCs over seven typically just provide more toxicity, definitely will provide myelosuppression, not necessarily any additional benefits. So AUC seven usually is the highest dose you're gonna see on these. Um, so back to the equation. This equation in and of itself is very easy. The problem is, is the GFR piece, because as you know, there are 10, 15, 20 different ways you can calculate an estimated kidney function on somebody. So as far as a banner organization goes, we use a modified cockcroft gault equation. Um, and I'll go over what that actually means. So the cockcroft gault is pretty common in pharmacy as the equation we use to estimate somebody's kidney function. Modified cockcroft gault is going to try to take into account a couple of things that might create outliers in that equation. And that's uh, obese patients and elderly patients who are underweight. We'll talk about that in a second. <clears throat> so if you're in Cerner, especially if you're in nursing, there's a couple of places you can go that will help you find um, your AUC, or if you forget the equation. You don't have to memorize that equation that we talked about, but when you have somebody who's going to get carboplatin, you go to where the power plants are located in the order section, and when you pull up the antineoplastic therapy, anything in pink on a power plan is solely there to help with some understanding and some baseline information. So for example, if you have a carboplatin dose, you have two notes in here that's supposed to help us. One, they give us the equation again, so it's spelled out there for you. And the second thing is they remind us that when we're using the AUC dosing for carboplatin, the max GFR we use is 125. So in other words, the max dose we're ever gonna have for a carboplatin is the desired AUC times 150. I forgot to put those in there again, okay. All right, so the first piece of the equation, right? So you have the AUC equals your GFR plus 25. Well, I'm sorry, your dose equals your AUC times your GFR plus 25. So the thing that most people are gonna get hung up on is what's your GFR? Because again, there's a ton of different ways to calculate a GFR. And so on the Banner campus, we are sticking with the modified cockcroft gall, which is, this is your cockcroft gall equation. That's the exact same. The way it's modified is we have two exceptions. If a patient's over 125% of their ideal body weight, then we'll use an adjusted body weight. If the patient's over 65 and their serum creatinine is less than 0.8, then we'll automatically adjust up the serum creatinine to 0.8. The other place where I see people getting hung up is the actual ideal body weight uh, and trying to calculate that. This is a little bit different than the actual equation I use. This is the metric system, and I'll show you in a second why I put this one on the slide as opposed to doing it um, in kilograms and feet as opposed to kilograms and centimeters. Actually, yeah. Basically, 
The problem with this that we've seen on certain patients is if we have patients under five feet tall. Because under five feet tall, the equation that's in Cerner, it actually substitutes out for a totally different equation to try to estimate that creatinine clearance or that GFR, or I'm sorry, the ideal body weight. I'll have to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but the equation we have in Cerner for patients who are under five feet tall is not a typical equation that we would use on this campus for determining somebody's GFR who's under five feet tall. Typically what we'll do on this campus is if you're under five feet tall, rather than adding um, so much weight to your ideal body weight for every centimeter, every inch you are over five feet tall, we'll just subtract that for every inch or centimeter you are under five feet tall. Um, and so unfortunately, the equation, uh, the number you're gonna get in Cerner for ideal body weight will be different. So anybody under five feet tall, always keep in the back of your mind, calculate this one by hand. Okay, so adjusted body weight calculation. In short, outside of this equation, what we're looking at, you may already know this, but your adjusted body weight, basically we're taking your actual weight and we're subtracting the, your ideal body weight from that. We're gonna take 40% of the difference and add it to your ideal body weight. So it's going to be a weight lower than your actual weight, higher than your ideal body weight, and that's gonna be the adjusted body weight if we have to use that. And so the way that is spelled out in the actual equation is your actual body weight minus your ideal times 0.4. So the 40% difference, add that back onto your ideal body weight. And that's how we get your adjusted body weight. Um, but that's what we're using for our obese patients. So how can you find all this information in Cerner? Or how can Cerner help you in this? If you go to your M pages and your ICU summary, in the ICU graph is one of the tabs you'll see up here when you go to it. There will be some baseline information up here. And right here you have your estimated creatinine clearance. Theoretically, this creatinine clearance should be calculated out using the modified Cockcroft gall. The one exception is patients under five feet tall, this actually spits out a different number. Other than that, this should be the actual creatinine clearance that you're using for your AUC dosing. If for whatever reason you need to go and double check it because it's not looking right, it's not working out, and you wanna remember what the equations are that we just talked about right now, if you click on it right here, it'll pop up and it will have the entire equation here. And it's actually pretty slick because it gives you the exceptions. Uh, there's somewhere in here, you know, if your ideal body weight is greater than 125%, do use your adjusted body weight, and that's how you figure it. All the equations are right there. And on top of that, for that whatever patient you're on the chart of, it's actually going to plug in all the numbers and it's going to walk you through how it got to the number that it got to which is how we originally found out that it's not doing the right equation that we want for patients under five feet tall. Okay, Cerner can also hurt you if you're looking in the wrong place because on the actual labs themselves, if you're looking at um, where you can report out all of your Jim Kim stuff, so your creatinine, BUN, right below that many times, it's gonna have a little space that has your GFR. And again, we talk about AC dosing is GFR, uh, plus creatinine clearance, uh, plus 25, well, your GFR for your creatinine clearance. The problem is these GFRs use different equations than the modified Cockcroft call. So a lot of times physicians or nurses, they'll see this and they'll plug it in and they'll get different numbers of what the pharmacist actually got. And this is why, because it's this one on the labs is using a different equation than what we want. So on the labs, don't use that GFR. Okay, so I'm ready for your quiz, Haley. What's the max dose, regardless of who your patient is, what's the max dose uh, of carboplatin someone would get if the prescribed dose was an AC of two? Um, 300. Correct, yeah. right? Because we're gonna take that creatinine clearance, even you have some young patients with the creatinine clearance of you know, it calculates to 250, mm -hmm. but you're gonna knock that down to 125, add to 25, so 150, so you'll never have a dose over 300, and then obviously the rest of that just plays out the exact same way. So four times 150, mm -hmm. five times 150. Yep. Awesome. And then, there it is, one more time to remind us. Uh, any questions? <laughs>